Well, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. We will begin here shortly. Okay. Good evening. Well, hello, Fabio. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Well, hello, Abigail, Blanca, Janari, Freddy, Miguel, and Fabio. Welcome. How was your day today, Fabio? It was fine. <laughs> All right. Ready for the weekend? Ready. It's just one day. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one more day, right? Just one more day. It's tomorrow, right? Hello, Abigail. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm okay. um, fine, and you? Ah, here waiting for the rest to join. Glad you are here. Is it rainy where you're at, Abigail? No. No? Okay. No, here it's not raining. Okay. Let me see. I'm getting some right now. Okay. Well, let me see. We're going to begin. I sent some documents to the group right i sent a pdf i was making that earlier and i converted it to pdf so it won't be distorted okay so just have it there okay i just want you to just have it there because we're going to do an activity with that okay this is that is not in your module okay so don't th don't think that you're going to find it there it's something that i did extra the PDF file that I sent you, okay. And uh, what I had planned to do was make a competition. Okay, I was thinking about that, right? And I was going to just do something like, you know, just something out of the ordinary, where you can just do something on your own, create something without going to google and looking for it now yeah we use it right we're going to use it that way but i i am planning oh i have in mind something about an activity right a competition right and what i was going to do was for the winner i was going to give a little prize right but that all depends that all depends that's just something that i have in mind all right Give a little a little prize or something, maybe uh, uh maybe something added to your to your phone or something, maybe extra extra money or something. I don't know, something, you know, something. Something will come up, right? Hey, recarga, you <laughs> Some Bitcoin. Yeah, right, yeah. Well I have Bitcoin. I have two different types, right? I have like three different three different currencies, cryptocurrencies. I have uh, international Bitcoin and uh, Shiba and and other and another type of currency, and I also have the Salvadorian wallet also. Right, but I use uh, Binance. But anyone has used Binance? ¿Alguno de ustedes ha invertido en Binance International? Yes, I do. Okay, you have Abigail. 
Yes. Yes, I yes I have teacher. Okay. But I I haven't checked my identity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yes, I I have a I did it like a few months ago. I think I did it when I started. I wanted to do some other things, but I wanted to try cryptocurrency, so I did that with a with a bank account and everything. Did the transactions right international. Binance, I believe, is is I can't remember if it was in the United Kingdom or I can't remember somewhere overseas. All right. Um, well, welcome. I see some of you already here. Hello, Diana. How are you? Everything good? Yes, yes. Good evening. All right. All right. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, Carlos. Welcome. All right. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, welcome. Good evening, good evening classmates. <laughs> All right. Good evening. So, let me see. I'm going to to begin with the attendance. All right, so we can get started. Let me see. Hello, present. man. <laughs> <laughs> already, right? I mean, I already said present, right? All right. Let me see. All right. Beatriz. Present. Okay. Well, hello. Welcome. Nice to have you back. Thank you, teacher. We lost you yesterday. Yes. Yesterday, I was Saxon. Okay. For I have problems with the internet. Okay. All right, uh, let me see. I up uh, since you were not here yesterday. I already uploaded your your grade from the platform. Okay, so everything's already sent. Okay, so okay. congratulations to everyone. Everyone completed everything, and I already sent your grades to the platform. Okay, so thank you. Some of you were doing it like eleven o'clock at night yesterday, but I was awake. I was awake, so. All right, thank you everyone for completing 100%. That's great. Okay, um, Blanca. Good evening, everybody. Hi, okay, thank you. Let me see, I'm in traffic jam, Flor. Okay, no problem, Flor. Thank you for notifying me. Okay, let me see, Brenda. Present. Okay, thank you. Carlos? I'm here, teacher. Present. All right, thank you. Today, yes. <laughs> today, I couldn't. Okay, no problem. Nice to have you here today, okay? Don't worry. We got you. Okay, Diana? Present. Okay, thank you. And uh, Edwin? Edwin, okay, no answer. Flor, well, she's in traffic right now. I'm here, thank you. Okay, thank you. And Francisco. Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Glenda. Glenda, okay, no answer. Iris. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, Jackie. Present. Okay. And what about Jarvin? Present teacher. All right. Jennifer. She's connecting right now. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, teacher. Good evening, okay. everyone. All right. You're here. Juan Jose. I am here, teacher. Great. Thank you. Miguel Angel. I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. Nice to have you here in class. Thank you, teacher. All right. Welcome. Welcome. I think, um, let me see if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Okay, great. Put you here. Okay, Fabio. I'm here. All right. Awesome. Rolando. Rolando. 
Okay, no answer. Janari? Janari? Oh, your camera froze, Janari. But I see you right here, okay? I'm going to put you present, okay? If I can see you, I'm going to put you present, okay? I know your camera just froze. Okay, Janari? All right. Let me see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. Correct. Let me see. Okay, class, we are going to, we're going to do unit two, all right? We already finished unit one, but we didn't quite finish. There were like, um, there was a little bit of vocabulary that we're just going to review it real quick. It's only gonna take a few minutes, okay? For, uh, for those that are probably wondering about page 15, there's like four vocabulary words on your page, on page 15 that is basically important because it's about building your vocabulary it's more vocabulary in relation to product decline or decline of a product okay it's on page 15 there were really there's only four four um, vocabulary words and then we are going to begin our marketing unit which is unit two okay unit two remember we have we're going to spend about two weeks on unit two, okay? We're going to spend a lot, although it's a little bit of material, but I'm going to provide you with extra material and different activities. That is why I have sent you that PDF. If you look for it in, your, um, in the group, I sent you a PDF file so you can uh, analyze it and have it ready when we are going to do the activity in class, okay? Now, um, can you read please, Abigail, the topic please? Abigail, hello? Okay. All right. The marketing, the marketing mix, the four piece create your own vocabulary. Okay. Now when it means right, you create your own and then we're going to do vocabulary. Okay, great. Thank you, Abigail. We're going to focus on remember this unit, unit two is about marketing. About marketing. We saw product life cycle in unit one. But we're still going to do that vocabulary, like I said, but don't worry, it's only going to take a few minutes. And then we're going to focus on marketing, marketing. And a lot of vocabulary, a lot of technical words. So I understand if it's going to be a little bit difficult, but you already understood the product, right? Remember we did product life cycle and you created some of those products, you gave presentations and you also saw a lot of vocabulary. Okay, what is today's date? Um, Abigail, continue. Okay, uh, Thursday, September 23rd to 21, 21, mm. 20, 21. All right, Sorry. very good, very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. Good job, right? So today's Thursday, September 23rd, 2021 or 2021. This is class number six. And this is my name for the for the one that just joined for the first time okay i think it's uh, miguel okay this is my name right here you can call me teacher henry okay or mr henry either or so welcome miguel okay thank you teacher all right now if you go to page 15 real quick it's going to be brief Go to page 15, just so we can finish this vocabulary, All right? You have four, four uh, vocabulary words here. Obsolescence, demand downturn, changes in customer preference, and global competition. Who would like to challenge themselves and tell me the vocabulary? Don't be scared of the first one. I 
challenge someone? Maybe number one is the second uh, meaning. Okay. A significant decline in the competitiveness or value mm -hmm. of a product, usually because a more innovative or a cheaper one is available. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Does anyone... Uh, you can look at, I'm going to give you like maybe a minute to analyze and, and really read it and then decide, right? Obsolescence, demand downturn, changes in customer preference and global competition. But good, good effort, Brenda. Okay. Is Brenda correct? Is she correct, Fabio? Is yes, I absolutely think. This one? Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Excellent. All right. So how do you pronounce this word? Excellence. Obsolence. All right. Obsolescence. Obsolescence. All right. Obsolescence. Okay. Now, that is correct. Obsolescence. Very good. Very good. Obsolescence. Very good. So it's this one right here, just like Brenda said. Okay. So number one goes here. Okay. What about? Demand downturn. I think demand downturn is the presence of innovative product or service or services okay. cause customers to change their tastes and preference. Okay, very good. Is she correct? What do you think, class? I think uh, the second term is the fourth idea a reduction of customer interest in buying a product or service okay i think the same is the last one mm -hmm. yeah i yeah. think the same as abigail okay okay so we have two different opinions right demand downturn and then And then this one, right? <clears throat> so the way the the way the manual has it is this one. Okay, but I understand that they're they're like similar. Okay, they're a little bit similar, but this is this one goes with demand downturn. Okay, so it's. Uh, let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, I did it. Let me erase it. Okay. So, I want to see some hands. I want to see some votes here. Demand downturn. Is it this one? Or this one? Fabio, which one do you say? I say a, a reduction of customer interest in buying a product or service. Okay. All right. How many people say that one? And how many people think it's there? I want to take a vote. I want to take a vote. I want to see. <clears throat> Blanca, which one do you think? One or four? I think the same as Fabio. A reduction of customers' interest in buying a product or service. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. How many say, okay, I have three hands. All right, I have three hands. I have Miguel there also, Freddy's, 
Fabio Blanca. Okay. Let me draw this line one more time. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone, for participating. I'm just trying to get your participation here. It's really this one, okay? So that is correct. A reduction of customer interest in buying a product or service. That is correct. Demand downturn. What about changes in customer preference? <clears throat> the present of innovating okay. product or service helps customer okay. change their taste and preferences. Okay, innovative. innovative, innovative. Very good. Is he correct, class? Is this one number, this one? Yes, a lot of people say yes, and that is correct. Yes, okay, great, it is that one. Very good, very good. And then number four, can someone read it for us? Can someone read it? It's the last one, right? Oh, it's so hard, <laughs> right? Oh no, which one, right? Can someone just read it for us? Can someone just yes, read teacher. it? Okay, great. International competing companies may offer better product at cheaper prices and with better distribution, which may cause the decline of locally manufactured products. Okay, Jennifer, thank you. Okay, remember that this is competing, competing, competing. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, Thanks. great. All right, competing. And then this word is decline. Decline. Might. Okay, great. Global competition. Okay, class. I just wanted to do this real quick with you so you can have it in your uh, module if you have it already printed. And we are going to continue. Okay, let's see. All right, uh, let me see. Let me erase this. All right. Okay, the marketing mix, right? The marketing mix. Now, we are going to begin unit two. And I hope some of you are already, already on that page, on page 17 of your module, page 17. Basically, we are going to be focusing on marketing, but also with the marketing mix and some vocabulary words also. Now, look at these quotes. Look at these quotes. Can you read the first one, please? Um, <laughs> Carlos, can you read the first yeah. one, please? Yeah, product. What? what no, uh, product the, the quotes. The quotes. I, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me see. Okay. The flashcard? Yes, the quotes. One, the, the one who were crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the one do. Okay. Once. Let's pronounce once. These. Uh, once. Sorry. Very good. Once. The ones. Once do. Yes. Very good. So it says the ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. Right. So a lot, think about it. this is what Steve Jobs said. Okay. This is from him. Right. If you're crazy mm -hmm. enough to think that you can change the world, you probably will. You probably will, right? These are just famous quotes from people that created a lot of the innovation as far as technology. Okay, uh, Jarvin, can you read the second quote, please? You are surrounded by simple, obvious solutions that can dramatically increase your income, power, influence, and success. The problem is you just don't see them. Okay, Jay Abraham, right? So this is another 
person, another intellectual person as far as in business and marketing. So you are surrounded by simple, obvious solutions that can dramatically increase your income, power, influence, and success. The problem is you just don't see them, right? So a lot of people that, that lack the progressiveness are just people that probably don't have, don't have a lot of vision, okay? That's probably what he's saying here. You just don't see them. Now let's do the last quote here. Um, let me see. Francisco. Yes, please. Okay, can you read the third quote, please? Okay. Making promise and um, keeping things is a great way to bowling. Build. 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 Build a brand. Okay, very good. Just a little bit of, of uh, pronunciation. Promises. Promises. Okay. Okay, promises. And this is pronounced great. 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 That's all. Very good. So making promises and keeping them is a great way to build a brand. So this is very, very, very unique here, right? By Seth Godin, the leading marketing strategist and bestseller author. So when you make promises, it's important to keep them if you're going to be in the market. Okay. Right? Very good, Francisco. Thank you for, for participating. Now, I'm going to ask the class, which quote do you like the best? If you are in the marketing, if you think you're in business or anything related to business, which quote do you think hits you, hits you straight and be like, yeah, it causes an impact in you or you feel it? Which one? Which one of the three and why? Someone, I challenge someone to use their critical analysis. Or... I think all of them are very important, but the the most important is the product because if the product has high quality, you are agree, you, I mean, you pay for for it uh, for the quality. And it, it's not like a big thing, the, the price, because you are focused on the, the quality. And the place, uh, I think uh, you look for a, a product that is in a, it's located in a good place. Um, but it's not like mm, when you really need the product, uh, all uh, the rest, is not as important as the product. Okay, very good, Diana. Very good analysis, right? You also use some of this related with the marketing mix, right? Very good. That is very good. Excellent. Good input, right? One thing that you mentioned was about quality, right? If you if people want quality, they will pay for it, right? No matter what the cost, right? no matter what the cost. Very good, Diana. Thank you for your input in the class and your participation. Anyone else that can make an, a critical analysis? You can use this or the quotes, anything here on the screen. Anything related to marketing, price, product, promotion, some of the quotes from some of these innovators, anyone? Teacher, I agree with uh, Diana, um, the product is the, the best uh, solution, but uh, uh, some company grow. Um, I, I think the product, the product is really a good product is really in, interesting uh, that uh, some companies uh, build uh, because when I, I find a, a good product, product, I recommend you this play, for example. Very good, very good. When you recommend someone else, it's in, 
if you want to learn the phrase, it's called, okay, word by mouth, word by mouth. That's when you refer someone just by telling them, hey, go over here, right? Thank you, Miguel. Great input, great input. Okay. Now, when we talk about the marketing mix, we are talking about four elements. Now, there are some that can add a little bit more, right? Throughout throughout the years, there, there have been some more added to it. But this is basically the fundamentals, okay? Jarvin. Can you read them, please? These two right here. So, me too, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. Product. What product or service will be sold? Very good. <clears throat> price. At what price will the product or service be sold? Very good. So, we're, we have, this is called a marketing mix, which is, these four elements is what constitutes marketing mix, okay? El mercadeo mixto, all right? So we have mix, that's why there are four. Now, we have product and we have price, just like Jarvin said. Continue, please, Juan Jose. <clears throat> Promotion, how will, uh, how will the product or service be sold? Services. Okay, how will be this product or services um, be sold? Perfect, continue please. Place, where will the product or services be sold? Okay, where will the products, products, right? Or services be sold? Okay, that will be the place, <coughs> right? So we have four, product, price, promotion, and place. This is what constitutes the four Ps. I sent to you, to the group, I sent a YouTube video, right? It wasn't that long. It was like, what, less than three minutes? Less than three minutes? So I hope everyone saw it because we will talk about this in depth, okay? in debt so be prepared be prepared okay class and this right here is called a marketing mix okay now let's look at your manual let's look at here go to your manual and go to page 17 Go to page 17. Okay. This is the first page of unit two. Okay, let me see. Rolando, can you read please? Okay. Identify the main elements of the marketing mix of a renewed, renewed national, renewed, renowned, renowned, renowned national product service. Continue. Let's start. What do customers want for a service or product? How is the product you sell different to the products? of your companions? Competition. Competitions. Okay. I want you, if you have your manual there, I want you to correct something. There's an error right here. Okay. Competitions. All right, okay. yes. Okay, I want you to also correct this word. It's not form, it's from. It's incorrect right here. So I want it's you to- from. Yes, from. Okay. From. from. Okay. What do customer want from? A service. a service yeah, yeah. from okay. a service so please correct it it's a little error right there on your on your book okay so if you can correct it that would be great so we this is the questions that we're going to be asking ourselves what do customers want from a service or product 
how is the product you sell different to the products of your competition? Now, here is talking about you sell, right? How is the product that you sell, right? But are you selling anything? Are you selling anything right now? No, not right now, right? But I have a little um, activity where at the end or sometime either today, maybe it depends on the time, but either at the end of today or tomorrow, you are going to create your own product and try to see how well you can put it in the market, okay? So we're going to do a little innovation. We're going to be a little, do some creativity and a little bit of analysis on your part, right? Nothing from Google, okay? So if you copy something from Google, be like, okay, it's not your product, okay? So uh, think about that, okay? And what I want to do is do or have a competition, have a competition in class and have everyone vote which was the better product as a customer right let's say you, somebody introduces a product and you're like yeah i like i like fabio's product right or i like brenda's product or beatrice's product depends on who you vote for at the end and i will give a prize daré un pequeño premio okay i will give a small prize to the winner of this activity we're not going we're not going to start right now i just want you to think about it okay because I, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was building uh, my own product. Uh, okay. I, ha I know how many days uh, I have, but uh, this is uh, some box. You can see. Uh, okay. Some box with a uh, solar panel. Um, Maybe I would like to put in, to put it uh, a screen in uh, bocinas, uh, speakers, uh, speakers. <laughs> yeah, because you can use uh, solar energy for for do a lot of things, and it's easier to get it to get it, and it's cheaper than residential. Electricity, I think, and it can can be so better for the planet and for the economy. I think I would okay. like uh, the 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 um, energy renewable. Okay, renewable, renewable mm -hmm. energy. Renewable energy. Yes, yeah, I like right. I like it. Okay, yeah. well, thank you, Carlos, for sharing that. And when we do the activity, you can put that idea into your uh, into your uh, marketing mix. Okay, so yeah. that yeah. would be great. That would so well. Yeah, that's great. That's great. We're going to do an activity in group, but do not add that activity. Okay, that's going to be yeah. individual. It's going to be individually. Okay, so yeah. Well, thank you, right? You're already pre getting prepared then, getting prepared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you already have the idea. All right, great. That's excellent, right? That's how everything starts with an idea, right? Everything with an idea. All right, let me see. Who would like to give a little bit of input about here? What do customers want from a service or product? You as a customer, okay, you, all of you as a customer, what do you want from a service or product? What do you want? Especially, I, I think we will like a good service. Okay, very that, good. That, that, that all people we, want, all people that want that to save some money, I think. <laughs> okay, save money, okay, and we continue. Quality. Quality. Good quality. Okay. Okay. Quality. But actually, when you when you expect a, a good service from a company, 
would you like to, uh, well, what would you like to get is uh, the best service. In this case, um, we don't have it with Diego and Movistar. We have a bad <laughs> service. I wish we could have a, a, a quality service. Yes, it's because when you get some uh, um, in, in internet or when you when you get a, a how do you say when you get a contract with those companies? When you uh, wait, well, a contract. Okay. You, well, your, your expectations are. Mm -hmm. When you sign a contract, Sorry? when you sign a contract, right? Yes, when you sign a contract, you, you expect to get a good service. One that we don't have with those kind of companies, you know? Like, it gets mad, but what we can do, uh, at least in, 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 it's different to another companies. Okay, all right. So this is, this is what I'm going to do, all right? I know that, a lot of you want to give your opinions, but I'm going to put you in breakout rooms just for a few minutes and you can share those ideas with each other. Okay. And maybe debate. What do you, what do you prefer? Do you want quality or you want quantity? Right. It depends. Right. Some people want quantity or some people want quality or some people want just a good, efficient service. And the other thing is, um, What, uh, this is going to be a question that I'm going to write. Okay, this is, what solutions do you expect? Okay, well, every time you make a complaint, right? When you make a complaint, when you have bad service, like Edwin mentioned about internet, when you call the customer service, whether it's a product or a service, right? Because it could be the phone, it could be your landline. Land, what is landline? Landline. What does that mean? If I say landline? La, la línea telefónica de casa. Yes, right? And we call it línea fija, right? That is called landline. Yes, Brenda, that is correct. That is what you have, la línea telefónica. That is correct. Perfect, right? And this is what is connected to the wall, right? It's not through Wi-Fi, right? It's landline. So if you hear that, if you go to the United mm -hmm. States and they say landline, that's what they are referring to, the house uh, phone. Okay, now, what what solutions do you expect? I want you to write this question down, okay? What solutions do you expect when you make a complaint, okay? When you make, ah, make a complaint. What solutions do you expect when you make a complaint? That, that means what are you expected to hear from the company, okay? And then versus, versus reality, right? It's like you're expecting them to be like, yeah, we'll be there in about two hours, right? Don't worry, right? But the reality is it might take two or three days, right? <laughs> two or three days, sometimes weeks, right? So what solutions do you expect? That's another question you're going to ask each other in the breakout room. So remember, you're going to ask this question. What do, what do you want from a service or a product? Okay, I'm going to put you in breakout room so you can speak and express yourself. Uh, Abigail, did you want to say something? Uh, yes, I wanted to share my my answer to the question, but we are going to do a break on rooms. Okay, yes. Okay, we're going to break our rooms. And you're going to have, the, I'm going to enter with you so I can hear you. Okay, Abigail? Okay, teacher. All right, so break our rooms. This is going to be a little icebreaker so you can start loosening, loosening yourself up. Okay, one, two, three, break our rooms.
want from a service or product? You want to say something, right, Abigail? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I wanted to say that as a customer, I expect that if I had if I had a need, I expect that the service or product supply my need in order to to save time or supply the need as soon as possible. Also, if the product or the service could add value to my need, it could be really excellent. And what else? Yes. Uh, obviously, save time and save money. So <laughs> the, the quality is, is important. Awesome. That's right. I was thinking about the same. Yeah, that we want a product that satisfied in all in all the things we want uh, or needs. Basically, everything we need. Something we I want that have these things. And if we don't, then it doesn't work. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't a good product or service. Okay, so what would you do? Would you stop using it? We, we can change the product uh, or so we, ah, uh, this, this brand or this thing is not work. I will try another. If that or no, another. <laughs> Until you find a product <laughs> that satisfy all the needs you. Yeah. And you know what happens? You know what happens some of the times that we go go and then we end up back to the same product that we were reading. Because it was the it was the better of all the things. It's like, ah, people say, ah, estaba mejor allá, right? We're like, oh, over there, right? So it's That's like, right. come right back. Yes. It's happened to me before. That's why I mentioned it, right? Like, ah, I'd be like, look at Diana, she put a little emoji, right? <laughs> be like, yeah, and then it's like, yeah, right. So it happens, right? So this is a good time to elaborate. Diana, what, what can you tell us, Diana? Um, sorry, I'm finishing the dinner, but... Ah, go ahead and finish. I didn't want to interrupt. Okay, <laughs> sorry, thank okay. you. No problem. Okay, so um, yeah, that's what happens sometimes, right? And sometimes we encourage other people to use a good product also, right? But you know what happens sometimes? Some people are stuck that no matter what you tell them, they will not change the product. Have you ever met people like that? That's like, oh, this product is better. Look, you can do this, you can do that. Innovate, right? No, no, I, I, want, I want this phone where I can just press buttons, right? Instead of being like digital or something like that, right? So some people they feel more comfortable. Exactly. Comfortable right? with that. They, they feel comfortable, and oh. a lot of people shy. They shy away from technology or innovation, right? Because they feel comfortable. That is called the comfort zone. Okay. Comfort zone. Yes, that's that is what you call in, a, in psychology. It's called the comfort zone, right? where the person just feels stable, everything's good, I don't want to change, I don't want nothing else but that. All right. Okay, continue, continue. Talk about um, talk about the four Ps, talk about anything related to marketing, okay? Any experiences that you may have had. Share, continue, you have about three, four minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, I tell if their boss make all the things to to solution the problems of the company, because okay. I think that your boss is busy to do that. And they tell me that, yeah, they understand, but if we want a solution, my boss have to go to the to the agency. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. That makes me so angry, but I I What company do you have? With Tigo. Yes. Tigo is Yeah. 
en dos, en, do, en, en, dos was... case, en dos cases you need not only a good service, you need a fast, a fast service. In fast solutions too. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I'm okay. paying uh, $35 of my... It's like to, for example, uh, uh, UPS or FedEx, but in El Salvador, I don't know any company have this service. Uh, the example of um, UPS is only for you, if you need to send a package uh, to other country, but Local in Salvador, I don't know if if we have a company that 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 do the the service yeah. to move a different package to, for example, to the to Santa Ana to El San Salvador. Mm -hmm. okay. teacher, teacher, excuse me. Yeah. Can you explain? Playing us better because I don't understand very well. I, I would like to, to understand very well. Okay, uh, you don't understand what was the question, Carlos? Or, yeah, for example, what do we have to do? Uh, ah, you were supposed to on your on your on your module on your on your book okay. on page seventeen. The first one that I put on the let me show it right here. You were supposed to ask each other these questions. Remember, I wrote it. I wrote it. I typed it on the screen. The questions also. What What do you expect? Remember that? So yeah. you're supposed to ask what you as a customer, what do, you, what do you want from a service or product? What are you expecting, right? What do you expect? And then... Um, when you do call the company, what do you expect them to do if you if you make a complaint? No, For example, okay. if you if you call the agency and say cuando uno llama reclamar, right? Mm -hmm. What do you expect them to do? What are some expectativas that you want from them? Do you do you expect them to call you back? Do you expect them to send you a message or tell you you know what? We're going to respond right away. What is your problem? Absolutely. Yes, find solutions. What types of questions would you ask them? Or what, those types of things related to, mm -hmm. to the market, to marketing. Okay. That's, that's all it was. If the answer is, is comfortable for the time. Exactly. Are you happy? You can share an experience, right? You can share an experience also mm -hmm. and say, you know what? Last week I called this company and I had a problem with my Wi-Fi and they came and they solved it. I expected them to come within two hours, but they came in 30 minutes. It was quick, right? I don't know if that's true, right? But, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, here they, they take a while, right? So that's what it was for you to interact and talk about. Oh, okay. 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 Is it clear, Carlos? Yeah. Okay, Very nice. nice. Thank, thank you, Bishop. Okay. But it was, it was a, <laughs> a beautiful experience when you are studying at the university. Uh -huh, yeah, you get so much uh, fun that you wanted to continue and continue, <laughs> and you're still yes. there working. <laughs> yes, I, when I finish uh, civil engineer, I continue studying a master. I uh -huh, finished okay. in 2020, 20, no, in 2012, finished. Long my time, my but... main my main problem 
my main problem is to learn English. Okay. <laughs> Other than that, you very easily everything. <laughs> I I I but think I, but I try. Is, uh -huh. <laughs> is the main the main problem with all people. Uh -huh. <laughs> the, mm, for Brenda, <laughs> I, 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 I I don't think <laughs> for Brenda Miguel, it's very easy. Miguel, those gray hair is not gray hair; it's just a shining <laughs> that is there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, welcome back, everyone. All right. Yala, are you finished already? Yes, yes. All right. Yes, thank you. All right, you drink it, what, a cup of coffee or something? Some juice, soda, water? <laughs> welcome back, like the song. Why <laughs> milk with coffee. All right, great, great, awesome, awesome. Do you remember that, that uh, song? Welcome back. Welcome back, right. Or the other one. <laughs> Welcome back. All right. Let me see. Okay, let me close this. Break our rooms. Okay, class. This was basically to get you to evolve and to speak in a business level. Start getting familiarized with marketing strategies and marketing vocabulary. And as far as products and customer service and those things of that nature. Now, I entered the breakout rooms, and yeah, I, I heard a lot of a lot of good uh, a lot of good comments, a lot of good positive comments in relation to experiences and those types of things that are very very unique, right? We all have different experiences when we, as a customer, we go and buy a product or service, right? Sometimes we can buy a product and and we're like, oh, this is no good, right? And we get frustrated and we try to take it back and they won't change the product, right? And you're back and forth. Sometimes it's, it takes longer to resolve than it is to buy a product, right? Because when you want to, when you actually buy a product, they sell it to you quick, right away, sign the contract, right? But when you try to dissolve or try to, and the contract is a very different story, a right? very different story. So it's, 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 uh, it's important to understand how our products are sold or services are actually bought from us as customers. And you never know, one day, I don't know if some of you are selling products or have sold products before. Anyone, has anyone here sold a product? Diana, I think you're laughing like me, right? Yeah. <laughs> in the in before to the pandemic, I was selling clothes. And yeah, uh, it was a very good experience for for me and a and a friend. Um and that <laughs> Okay, well, very well, right? Right before the pandemic. Okay, Blanca, did you want did you want to share something? Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm working in in myself in sales. In sales. I yeah, I'm sell clothes, but it's like company clothes, right? I don't know how to sell how to tell uniforms. Okay, <laughs> but I I don't know how to say how to say yeah. uniforms uniforms. Okay, yeah, uniforms for company. Okay. For companies or for schools. Okay, very good, very good, right? Yes, yeah. a lot of schools and a lot of companies, uniforms, is a, it, it's a must, right? It's a must. 
So, if you need it, you can call. <laughs> Just call me, right? <laughs> very well, very well, very she well. She said she said in Market San Miguelito. Okay. So <laughs> no, 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 but sorry for the it people, was born. But... It was born. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, 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 I know, but sorry for the people that's working in, in San Miguelito. Yes. Yeah, yes. so, okay, so you make, you make uniforms for schools and for businesses. All right, very good. And then, uh, who was it? Uh, over here, Diana was talking about clothes also before the pandemic. Anyone else has sold a product or a, or a service? Anyone that would like to share it? Okay, nobody else? Okay, let me see. I'm going to take the second attendance. It's already on the clock and we're going to continue after the second attendance. Okay, let me see. Do, 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 do. Abigail. Present. Thank you. Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Blanca. Present. Thank you. Brenda. Present. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Carlos. Present. All right, thank you. And Diana. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Present. Okay, great. Flor. Present. Okay, thank you. Francisco. Present, teacher. All right, great. Freddy's. I'm here. Okay, great. Glenda. Present, teacher. Hey, hello, Glenda. Welcome. I see you're here. Thank you. Okay, great. <laughs> Let me see. It is present. Okay, thank you. Jackie. Present. Okay, Jackie. And Jarvin. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. And Juan Jose. Excuse me, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Do you want me to call you Miguel or Miguel Angel? Uh, Miguel. Okay. I thank you. No problem. Thank you, teacher. All right. I thank respect you. that. Thank you. Fabio. I'm here. Thank you. Rolando. I'm here. All right. Great. Awesome. And Janari. I'm here. All right. Great. All right, everyone's here, 100 percent attendance. 20 plus plus me, 21. 100 percent attendance. That's awesome. Very good. Very important for this unit. All right, <clears throat> let's continue. All right, let me see. It is. It is. It is. Yes. It is. Yes, teacher. Can you read, please? Okay. Diana is applying for a position in the marketing department. Read and, is, and excerpt Excellent. From, the, from the interview. Take turns pra practicing the conversation. Very good. Excellent. Now, this is a conversation between Diana or Diana, right? Basically, she's a, well, she, it's not a conversation between hers. Actually, she's applying for a position, right? And then you have Tim. Also here, I think believe this is Tim right here, right? But you also have Diana here, but Diana's applying for a, she's applying for a position, right? So she doesn't work there yet, but she's applying. She wants to get hired. So who wants to read the, who wants to be Tim, the first Tim? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Blanca, you will be Diana, okay? 
Okay. All right, begin please. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee to the success of the marketing mix? Okay, key elements, key elements. Excellent, key elements. I think you have to target your market. That's it, that is. You must define who, are you, who you are selling to and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will, okay, inevit inevitable. <laughs> inevitably, inevitably. Inevitably yes. fail. Very good. Inevitably. Yes, inevitably, inevitably, right? That, that, that's right. right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four P's. Peace. Now, six. the four P's. The first piece. Now, second question: How will you de you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix it's about putting the right product in the right place and in time, with the right promotion and at the right price. To do with to do this well. You need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okay, very good. Very good, very good reading. Excellent. So here we have an interview, right? And he's asking her about um, understanding the four Ps. What are the four Ps? Can someone tell me? What were the four, four Ps that I showed at the beginning of class? Product. Price. Place. Motion. Promotion. Very places. good. Very good. Excellent. That is correct, right? Those are the four P's. Excellent. Now, look at here, part three. Can you read that, please? Uh, continue, Blanca. There. Okay. The, the, the three, right? Yes. The part work. Yes. Pay work. Pair. Discuss pair. the answers to pair. Discuss the answers to the question below. Okay, very good. I read the question? Yes, go ahead, Blanca. You're doing great. Okay. What does target, target your market mean? What does each of the four P's stand for? How would you describe the term marketing mix? All right. So this is in your own words. All right. So... We already talked about this one at the four P's. I believe uh, some of you already mentioned them. And then what do they stand for, right? What do they stand for? Some of you already gave me the answers, right? But what does target your market mean? Target your market mean. What does that mean? If I tell you, hey, target your market, right? What what do I mean by that? It does you say, uh, Diana, when uh, she say that is you must define who you are selling to, mm -hmm. and you need to figure it out what they want. Exactly, what they want to buy, right? What they want or what they want to buy also. Very good, Juan Jose, very good. So that, that is the target of your market. Basically, it defines who, who are you selling to, right? Who are the people you're selling to? For example, I'm going to write something here. Target market. Target, right? Your target market means your focus your focus right target this is a word it's also a game okay so i don't want i don't want to go out, go outside the topic but target is where you play like with uh, where you play bullseye with the little darts where you tirando los dardos right that is a play where you're playing target there's also a company in the united states that is called target it's almost like walmart okay and it has like a red circle and a red dot in the middle like when you're throwing darts, right? 
So that is like target practice, right? When they're shooting at a, at a shooting range also, it's target practice. But here, target market is your, the people Put through a, a, a product, right? Exactly. Put through a, a, new, a, new, a new product or a target, a new product, right? Yes, whenever you launch, you launch mm -hmm. people launch or a company, or we can say the people or a company, right? Some people work for themselves, right? The, a person that works for themselves is entrepreneur, entrepreneur. Como le decimos aquí empresario or something like that, right? Entrepreneurs, the people or company, launch a product to a specific, maybe it could be, it could be a variety here. Specific what? It could be, could be audience. It could be, okay. It could be the gender. In this case, somebody say audience. Anything yes. All right, audience. Yes, that is correct. Basically, to to an audience that is more, more uh, diverse. Very good. Uh, gender. It could be to um, um, class. Age. Classes of people. When I mean by classes of people, I'm talking about upper class, middle class. And low income, right? Low income. You cannot go into a neighborhood and say, okay, I'm going to sell Mercedes Benz, and you go into a community where they're making below the national level the national level of income, right? Or wages. They all make minimum wage. Are you going to sell your cars there? No, right? So you have to look at the classes of people. Uh somebody said age, right? Very good. So your target market, is it a age, right? The age could be for adults, adults, children, or, or teens, right? Teens, yeah, adolescents, right? Teens or adolescents. So when you target- Location a, and location, teacher. Yes, oh, very good location geographics right location geographics right also national or international right it could be a product just here in el salvador or it could be a product internationally right the target market is it just here or, or it could be in a region national international or regional Regional, también, only in Central America, right? Believe, local. Yeah, that would be, okay, local in community, right? Only, in, for example, uh, only in San Salvador or only in San Miguel or only in Usulután, there are certain stores. Oh, that right. you, very good, excellent, good job, good input. Okay, we can continue, right? There are many other... Um, other classifications that we can add. So the target market is who are you launching your product to? You're going to understand this when we do this activity as a group, okay? When we do this activity, not as a group, we're going to do a group activity, but when you do this individually, I'm going to ask you this question. Who is your target market? So remember, I'm going to ask you this. Who is your target? If you want to write it, market. Who is your target market, right? So in other words, who are you trying to sell the product to? Who are you trying to sell your product to, right? If you're selling a, a video game, are you going to sell it to... Who are you going to sell it to? Teens, adults, or children? Who? You, where? 
where? Only in Salvador, only in San Salvador, only in Sultano. You're going to spread it all over the, the, the country or regional in Central America or international. I'm going to ask you this. So be ready when I ask this question. You should already know when I ask this question, what do I mean when I ask this question? Okay. This is when you do the individual activity. This is for the individual activity. Okay. Individual activity. All right. This question right here. That is when it, when we will do the individual activity. And when are we going to do the individual activity? We are going to do it tomorrow. Okay. We're going to do that tomorrow. You have plenty of time to think about it, okay? The PDF file that I sent you, that's what it was for, okay? We're going to also use it in a group here today so you can get an idea, okay? So you can already evolve in how to do it, but when you do it individually, I'm going to give a price. It's coming from me, okay? Not from, it's a foreign English company. It's from me, okay? This is coming from me. So whoever wins, I'm going to take a vote. And then whoever wins with the best product, right? You have to sell it. Tienen que vender aquí, right? You have to sell the product. If people are like, nah, I don't want that product, right? But you have to be, you have to show. You have to work for it, right? So... We'll see. We'll see. All right. So be ready for tomorrow with this. Okay. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes, Jarvin. For this activity, have to be a product, or we can create a a service. It could be a product or service. Okay. It thank could you. be a service also. Now, thank you, Jarvin, for asking. Okay. Now. I do not want a product where you went online and you paste it, okay? If you do that, I'm going to disqualify. You can still do it, okay? Lo pueden hacer, you can do it, but you will not, uh, you will not get the price, okay? I want you to create your own product. Imagine if I tell you I have a million dollars Think about it in this perspective. I have a million dollars for the person who creates a great product and I want to, has anyone, I'm going to ask a question. Has anyone ever seen Shark Tank? Yes. 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 Okay. I used to watch Shark Tank all the time, right? So those of you that have seen Shark Tank, they didn't come with Google products, right? Yeah, I mean, I have this product right here. They're like, come on, man. That's how you do it, that's how right? Or whatever, right? So create your own product. Think about it. I want you to think about this, okay? So I see it is laughing, right? I want you to to go beyond, beyond the, my, the, the book. I want you to be creative, okay? I want you to open up. Now, is this an obligation? Is it, are you obligated to do this? No, okay? I don't want someone to feel like, ah. Oh, or something like that. You don't have to do it, okay? You can just listen to the rest, okay? But the ones that do do it, they're going to participate for a special price that I will hand out, okay? And it's going to be, it's going to be money. I'm going to give you money, okay? Real money, okay? And, and, and how am I going to send it to you? How am I going to send it to you? At your phone. I can put your recarga or I can put it through the bank. Or Bitcoins. <laughs> or Bitcoin, right? Yes, I can do Bitcoin also, right? I have Bitcoin too, okay? So I was telling yeah. that at the beginning of the class, right? But I know not everybody has... The, pr the, pr the price are the, the $30 of Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that much. Right? No, not that much. This is coming from me just to... to uh, to challenge you 
to create some kind of innovation from you. You're very sharp, okay? All of you are very sharp, and I really admire all of you, okay? So you have the capability and the ability and the capacity to do this activity, okay? So I want you to do something that is unique, unique. Please do not go to Google because I will see it. I will see, all right? I know a lot about business and I can see whether something is from Google or not, okay? So try not to, okay? Do be unique using the four Ps, okay? And then your own classmates will um, evaluate you as far as who will be the winner, okay? But we will do that tomorrow. So I'm giving you, I'm, I'm giving you the incentive already. Um, okay, let's continue. So we already know what that means. What are the four Ps? How will you describe the term marketing mix? If I ask you, how will you describe the term marketing mix? How will you describe it? How will you describe it? How will you describe it in, in your own words? Be brief, brief, please. Who can give me a brief critical analysis of marketing mix? What did you get out of it? You can look at it, I have it here. Let me see. What, what, what do you, what can you conclude from this? In your own words, what is a marketing mix? For my for me for my own words, I think you, you have to have the four elements to get a successful product. Mm hmm. Who said that? Edwin? Yes, I do, teacher. Okay. Yes, I did. Right. Yes, I did. Good job. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. Anyone else? Me. Okay. Have you got any? I think a marketing means is a combination of different factors that if you develop every factor, you could have a successful services, campaign, product. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Well said. Anyone else? Anyone else? Maybe when you have different strategies to promote one product, for example. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Excellent. All of you gave very good input, right? Very good analysis. Excellent. Well done. Now, let's get to here. Marketing mix. Now, I have one here. This is like another slide that I have. We're going to do this tomorrow, right? Here's one right here. The marketing mix of Pepsi, okay? So yeah, this is from Google, right? Right? <clears throat> you have the product, price, place, and promotion, right? The product, soft drinks, mineral or bottled water, right? Sports drink, Gatorade, right? Snacks breakfast food, different, different products from Pepsi. The price, competed lower prices for bulk buyers. Bulk buyers, what is bulk buyers? What does that mean? Bulk buyers. Like compradores grandes. Yes, yes. Que compran por mayoreo. Very good. Yes, perfect. Perfect, right? Bulk buyers. That means they buy in big quantities, right? The, the big buyers. Yes. And top retailers, right? Top retailers, right? Those are competitive pricing. So they lower their prices for bulk buyers, right? So they give, they give other people the ability 
and, and the mechanisms to buy their product and probably resell it for a little bit higher and everybody makes a profit. Okay, please. Teacher, I can hear you so well. Okay, can everybody else hear me? Yes, teacher. I yes, hear you well. okay. I can hear you. Okay, so maybe it's just your internet connection, Blanca. Okay, sorry. Yes, because I, I hear you well. Okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Let's continue. Place. We're talking about a company, distribu distributors, retailers, right? Uh, central offices, customers, right? People can just go there and be like, okay, these are the places, right? Places is where your customers are also, right? Because if Pepsi goes to a little, little corner store, they are actually Pepsi customers, right? And then we go to the corner store and we are the corner store customers, right? So it's like a chain reaction, right? And they do online e-commerce, right? Supermarkets, general stores, retail shops, and their promotions. Now, I want you to analyze this. Promotion, look what it says here. Celebrity, can somebody pronounce this word? Ambassadors. Very good. Ambassadors. Yes, ambassadors. ambassadors. Yes, celebrity ambassadors. What is that? Influencer. Ah, yes, Abigail. Yes, that is correct. These are the influencers, right? The 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 sponsors, right? The influence. Yes, Abigail. Perfect, right? This is like whenever you see someone that is popular, right? Like Michael Jordan, when it was the NBA, or you you see people from soccer, like Messi or Leonardo, whoever his name is, right? Uh, all those different players that are very famous, um, and they they kind of like show the product to the world, right? They might not. They might not have it all times, but they might have a shirt, right? A Nike shirt or or the shoes, right? Or the glasses or a tattoo, right? Some people put tattoos also, right? And uh, it's very common. So they pay, they are paid by, for example, Pepsi. Pepsi says, you know what? I'm going to pay you, right? Like you see uh, here in the Salvador, they do it too, like. I saw a YouTuber representing Claro, right? Uh, Tio, I can't remember his name, right? Uh, something, right? It's a young guy. And he, he, I saw on the bullet, hey, that's a YouTuber. It's a young person. And he was representing Claro, right? So give me an example of a celebrity ambassador that you know of, that you have seen or has or has attracted you like yeah i want that product because this person is using it or is promoting it someone give me an example the old the old spice <laughs> <laughs> there are a guy that there it's is so funny that you want that you want to to buy the, the product because the the man is funny <laughs> okay very good right like the, 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 you see the the old spice guy right yeah all right very good anyone else soccer players okay. are really famous okay messi. messi someone said messi okay what products do they represent do they have a product are they ambassadors for a product and what product is it i have seen product from uh Herbalife. Okay, Herbalife. All right. Yeah. Any anyone else? Any other uh, input? Anyone else with another example? Fabio, I see you thinking. Um, I have seen the soccer player in drinks like Pepsi. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Okay. That is that is celebrity ambassadors. Then you have promotion uh, you target youngsters right sometimes when new video games come out 
you know that a lot of young people want to buy them, so they're like in promotions or something like that, right? Or discounts. It's like, okay, we're going to launch this product, but let's lower the price. And then when they buy it, we're going to raise it for the uh, part two or something, right? The next edition. Okay, that, that's basically the market mix, a little bit more input. Okay, let's go to the grain. Let's go to the grain now. This is what I sent you. This is what I sent you to the group. Can you read, please, um, Beatriz, product? Product. What's the product? What does it do? Why do people need this product? Okay. Very good. So we have the product here. What's the product? What does it do? Why do people need this product? Okay. Those are three questions that you have to answer. Okay. Three questions when you do the individual activity. So you have to name the product. What does it do? And why do people need it? So you, you have to ask yourself, why do I need your product? Why do I need it, right? So you have to answer that. Why do people need your product? Okay. Next one. Um, Jennifer. Price. What price is the product? What did you choose the, this price? What are the price of the competitors? Very good. What are the prices of the competitors? If you develop, now this one right here, I want to be clear. If you are developing a product that is new for tomorrow, that is new, then you have no competitors, right? But if you develop a product that is similar or there are some already in the market, you have to, you have to give the prices of those competitors, okay? For example, if I say, okay, yeah, I'm going to, to create a new phone, right? I already know that there are some phones in the market, right? So if I create a smartphone with, I don't know, 30 gigas or something like that, right? Uh, different features in the phone, I have to also know what the prices of my competitors are, okay? Thank you, next one. Um, Fabio. Okay, place. Uh, where are the people going to buy this product? Why did you choose to sell this product at this place? Very good. So here, where? Where, if you're going to sell your product, me as a customer, right? So if I'm the customer, where do I need to go to buy the product? Do I have to go to San Salvador? I mean, uh, the last time I bought a new laptop, I had to buy it in San Salvador, right? I had to actually go there because they don't have the, the uh, office depots that are everywhere, right? They're mainly in San Salvador. So I had to buy a new laptop there, right? So you have to figure out where are you going to sell the product and why did you choose to sell the product there right if you have a product that you can sell to tourists to a tourist for example and your product deals with the with the water for example in the in the beach you're not going to be selling that product here at 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 downtown somewhere, right? You're going to be close to the beach to sell your product, right? Because that's where your customers are. They're at the beach. So you're going to be there. That's a good example, right? Why do you choose to sell this product at this place? Because that's where tourists go to, to have fun and enjoy the beach. If I'm selling, for example, uh, inflatables, right? For children to float in water, right? I'm not gonna sell it in the city. I'm going to sell it near the water. Okay, continue with promotion. Um, 
Edwin. What are you going to advertise your product? Why here? Who will sponsor your product and why? Ah, very good. All right. So here, where are you going to advertise your product? Where are you going to advertise it? Where are you going to do it? Are you going to do it online? Are you going to do it walking on the side of the streets or or having your car with a lot of with a speaker and 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 advertising yourself? You see that here, right? You see many people sell produce like apples and vegetables and fruits, right? Going down the street like naranja eh, for un dollar aquí, right? You see those people with in the trucks with a loudspeaker. They are promoting their product in that way but how are you going to do it how are you going to do it and why why here right where and why here for example why why do it in in, in that particular way why do it on internet why do it through facebook so if you say oh i'm promoting my product on facebook why why here okay what why are you doing it here on Facebook? And explain why. Who will sponsor your product? Earlier we were talking about ambassadors, right? Are you going to ask um, someone popular to sponsor your product? Are you going to maybe, I know I don't know, maybe ask Luisito Comunica or something like that and, and see if he wants to help you sponsor your, your product, right? A lot of people do it. A lot of people look for famous YouTubers. And uh, I think I've seen some YouTubers make good money, right? And also make money for the other person that are advertised. They're actually promoting their product, right? How are you going to do it? Or are you going to ask family members to help you or friends? Or are you going on television? Are you going radio shows? How? How are you going to sponsor your product or are you going to get an ambassador, an ambassador, just like Abigail said, right? Someone that like uh, a soccer player or something. I don't know, somebody, somebody famous. And why? Why? Why did you choose that person? Why did you choose that style of promotion? That's what I mean by why. And then here it says, draw your product and label it. You're going to draw your product. Aquí van a dibujar su producto. Here you're going to draw your product and label it. You're going to put your label, el sello, right? Or, or, or the name of the product with it. This is what you're going to do tomorrow. It's her. Can we put a, a photo, a image? You can put an image, right? But it cannot be from, a, it will have to be something that you did. Something that you did. Because if you put an image from Google, it's not something that you did. <laughs> okay, try to be creative. This is where you draw it, right? You can do it by hand or you can do it by computer if you have technical skills, right? But if you go to Google and you copy the product, it's not your product. It's not, uh, you're doing copyright violations, right? If I, if I market a product, I want this to be as real as possible, like Shark Tank, okay? If you copy an image, and you go into the market and try to sell it, you're in violation of copyright laws, especially in the United States. You can get fined, okay? This is just to get you familiarized with a real practice, okay? Now, like I said, this is not, if you don't want to do it, you do not have to, but for those that are going to do it, I challenge you. I challenge you to evolutionize, to be creative, to be unique, to be yourself. 
any questions about this, please ask me. Now, how long are you going to speak? No more than, uh, no more than, I think, four minutes. No more than four minutes. Try to be as brief as possible. One minute for each, right? For each uh, element. One minute. I don't want to be here and everybody be like, oh, quiero va a terminar, right? No, I don't want that either, okay? I want this to be as brief and as, as possible. Four minutes. Four minutes. So maybe you can be brief, be like, okay, my product is this, this, and that. And it does this, it does that. And this is why you need to buy it, right? So you have to sell it. And then go to the next one. The price of this product is $50, right? I chose this price because I know it's affordable for everyone, right? The market, my competitor prices are within $60 and $70. And in place, you can buy this product at where? Uh, where can I buy this product? At uh, Metro Centro somewhere or, or Galleria? Well, uh, where? Online. Online, all right. The place could be online. Yes, all right. Online. And then I chose I chose this place because why did you cho why did you uh, choose that place? Why? So you have access to everyone. Is it international sales? Are you going to sell internationally or just here? And then where are you going to advertise also? Where? Yeah, online and why? Oh, okay, because I can do it here because I can get discounts. This is where you get discounts also. Talk about discounts on your promotion. And find a sponsor. Select anyone. This is your product. So you can select any uh, any uh, famous person that you, that you have access to or that you know. You can say, okay, uh, Angelina Jolie is my sponsor. Brad Pitt is my sponsor. Uh, uh, Samuel Jackson. Rolando, you have a question. Yes, teacher. The place, it could be Facebook. Yes, it could be Facebook. And then when you do your promotions, uh, you can do the same there also, right? Since you don't have a place, this will be unified. Because here, it's like an actual place, right? Because, because actually, this is the best way okay, no for, problem. For, for sell something okay yeah all right you can use uh technology and say you know what i'm not going to pay for a, a a place a local place or a corner store or anything like that i'm going to just sell online so it's just pick up right pick up you just order and then you drive to the person or how are you going to do it uh, you will have to explain that right do do you do you ship it okay Thank you. you ship it or do I have to go pick it up somewhere where we meet, right? Un lugar de encuentro is what we call it, right? How will we do it? How will we, how will, how am I as a customer going to get the product? And then it, what type of promotions, right? For example, when as a first buyer, you can say, for example, as a, let me turn off a microphone. Okay, let me turn off the microphone, sorry. All right, now, here on promotion, you can add your promotion. You can say, for example, as a first buyer, you you have 10, 20% discount, right? Or if you purchase something, or if you purchase more than two or three products, you get a fourth one free. Have you seen that before? When you go shopping, if you buy two or three items, you get a fourth one free, right? That is a type of promotion. Or if you buy during, if it's your birthday, right, you get a 10% discount. Invent. I want you to be creative. Be creative on promotion. Who is going to sponsor your product? And then you have to draw it, okay? Draw your product or, and label it. Any questions? Fabio, uh, Abigail, Edwin, Beatriz, Juan Jose, 
Tatiana. Any questions? It is. Teacher, um, do we uh, do we have uh, use the the same list or we we can be create more creative the this list of of marketing mix? Yeah, yeah. This was just a guide. Instead of guia, this was just a guide. It is just to help you to guide you in this process. But remember, it's going to be, uh, when you do it, you can share a screen, and then all you're going to do is speak, okay? Speak about the product, price, place, and promotion, okay? So it's going to be simple. But the main thing is have your product here and see are your classmates willing to buy that product or, or not, right? The winner is going to be decided by your own classmates. Who do they decide it has the best product, right? I right, say so like, ah, it is product was the best. And then you send me, and the way we're going to do is you're going to send me, for example, when I say, okay, everybody, um, everyone's going to write down the names of every participant and then decide who was, who had the best product and then they are going to send it to me, just that one name. For example, if Iris participated, Rolando participated, right? Just an example, Edwin, right? Just to not name everyone, just an example. And then I ask, okay, class, who had the best product on your point of view, on your perspective? And each one of you is going to send me, okay, one, five people might say Iris, six people might say Rolando, right? Or seven people might say it is, and six people might say Rolando. Either or, right? And then I just say, okay, it is. You had so many votes, and Rolando, you had so many votes. Edwin, you had so many votes, and and, and just like that, I select who had the most votes, and that person wins. Okay, that person wins. Okay. okay? Now remember, you have to apply all four elements. Unless you're doing this online, then you can mix place and promotion together. And they basically go hand to hand, right? Remember to use a sponsor, ambassador, right? Have one here and answer these basic questions. This, I send it to you in the group. Now, when we, how are we going to start? We're not going to start tomorrow, like at eight o'clock. Be like, okay, first one, right? No, let's uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to wait a few minutes. Some of you might want to relax a little bit, right? So we will begin at eight. At Many of you so okay I want to I want to get it straight because I want to have time to do this because tomorrow's Friday and I want to give the price to the winner before you have before you go to the weekend right before you go and have fun on your weekend so I'm going to ask everyone everyone is here except for one I think one already disconnected probably all right I'm going to ask you and I want you to answer honestly. This will not affect you in any way, okay? Diana. Hello, Diana. Yes. Are you going to do the activity? I hope so. If I think in something interesting. Okay, so I'm going to put you as Possibility. <laughs> Possibility. All right. Okay, I'm doing this to see the time. Remember, we, we're on a time frame also, right? Okay, Beatriz. Yes, I'm going to do the product Thank or the service. Thank you. Thank you for confirming. Juan Jose. <clears throat> I tried. I tried to. Okay, possible. All right. Yes. All right. Abigail. 
think so. Excuse me? Yes. Yeah, okay. Very good. Have you got you? Yes. All right. Thank you for confirming. Carlos. Okay, Fabio. Yes. Excellent. Hey, Rolando. Yes, teacher. Yes, oh, very good. <laughs> All right. Brenda. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Iris. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Jarvin. Yes, teacher. That's all very good. Edwin. Yes, teacher. All right, great. Janari. I think so. Okay, possibility. Mm -hmm. Right. Miguel. Of course, teacher. Of course? Yes. All right. Awesome. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Blanca. Blanca. Hello, Blanca. Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you for confirming. Um, Francisco. Francisco. Yeah. Excuse me? No. Francisco? Sure. Yes? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Freddy's. I'm sorry, teacher. I think I'm going to be the only one that's going to say no. I don't think so. But... Okay. No problem. Thank you for being honest. That would be a no. And let me see. Glenda. Yes, teacher. All right. Awesome. Jennifer. Yes, teacher. All right. Let me see. Who did I miss? Who did I miss? Jackie. Okay, Jackie. Did I call you, Jackie? Um, it's for Monday, teacher. No, it's for tomorrow. That is for tomorrow. Mm, no, to be okay. honest, me. Okay. No, because I have a lot of work. Okay, no problem. Thank you for being honest. All right. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Anyone else that I did not call? Uh, who did I miss? I missed someone. I missed one. Who did I miss? Maybe you didn't call me. Okay. Carlos. Yeah. Are you going to do it? Are you going to do the activity, Carlos? Mm, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. It's for tomorrow. Oh, okay. No. No? No. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay, everyone. So let's get ready for it. I hope you're brief. Remember, four minutes? Four minutes. If you have any questions, remember, contact me. All right, just contact me if you have any questions. Let's do the final attendance. Final attendance so we can. Okay, Abigail. Yes. Okay, thank you. You're present, right? Thank you. Uh, Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Blanca. Present. Okay. Brenda. Present. Thank you. Carlos. Present. All right, great. Diana. Present. Thank you. Okay. 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 Okay.
present. Okay. Edwin. Present. Okay, thank you. Flor. Flor, are you here? Okay. Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Freddy. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Glenda. Present teacher. All right, great. It is. Present. Okay, thank you. Jackie. Jackie. Okay, no answer. Jarvin. Present teacher. All right, great. Jennifer. Present teacher. All right. Juan Jose. Present teacher. All right. Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Fabio. Present. Okay. Rolando. Hello. All right. Well, thank you. And Janari. I'm here. All right. Great, great, great. Now, what I would like for you to do is also, I want you to, let me get the book. Okay, where is it? Okay, I want you to analyze this also, okay, this is all related, page 18, okay, this is all related with, let me see. this is all related with the topics that we saw today, okay, this is all related to it, and here's the activity, it was in group, but I'm making it individual, okay, it's an individual, this is in relation to number six, okay and i already shared with you the the worksheet that you're going to use for this activity for tomorrow so if you want to do a little bit more reading you can on page 18 page 18 of your book if you have any questions please feel free to ask before we finish the class are there any questions does anyone have any questions for the new product, we can improve uh, a product that already exists, or it has to be like invented from from the beginning, from zero. It has to be from zero. Oh, everyone say yes, almost. Say yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is your own product, okay? This is your own product. Remember I was talking about Shark Tank? Okay, they have their own product, right? So you have to create a product or just think of one that, right? Because if it's, if it's one that I can say, well, uh, I'm going to invent, uh, I have this mouse from Logitech, but I'm going to change it. Mm, I want you to create your own, create your own. Imagine you, you're creating your own product. Remember that. Thank you for asking, Diana. That's a very good question. Create your own product. Unique. Unique. Right? Now, if it's something that, yeah, there's going to be some things that are already in the market. For example, someone was talking about things, solar panel or something like that, right? But in a different way, okay? Yes, Beatriz? It can be a product or a service. Exactly. Product or service. Okay. Product or service, right? Product or service. So you can do either or. You can do a product or service, right? So if you have a service that you're like, hey, I, this is what I want to do is 
something that I've always thought about. Yeah, okay. You you can try it, right? You can try it, right? You can try it. Let me see. I was doing uh during the pandemic. Well, I'm still doing it right now, but last year and this year during the pandemic, I was like, yeah, ingress a domicilio. <laughs> I was doing that, and I'm still doing it, right? So, ¿alguien pensó eso algún día? Huh? Yeah, you want to talk about that? Huh? Inglés a domicilio. So but, I, like, but how much would it be one hour, for example? <laughs> it's, uh, it, it double, it's, it's not one through nine. It's ten and up, right? Ten and up an hour, right? So it depends how close you are, right? Ten, twelve, thirteen, an hour. Right. It was a package. <laughs> <laughs> a package there, right? Depending how far you are. You say I teach English very well and also I can tell jokes. <laughs> so yeah, so you can do that, right? If you're like just around the corner, yeah, I don't have to waste that much gas. But if I have to drive, oh, you're going to pay, right? <laughs> you're going to pay for the service, right? So I still do it. I still do. I still do that. I have two, two students like that that I do. So I go to the house and right there right a domicilio all right so now i'm just sharing that as an example all right as an example right so um any more questions today the person that stays is diana okay diana you stay for the extra 10 minutes tomorrow is edwin edwin you stay tomorrow Okay, so good night, everyone. If, if you don't have any more questions, all right, looking forward to tomorrow. All right, see who the winner is. And you got that prize coming. Teacher, I have a question. Hey, all right, tell me. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you. Um, when, when I stay for 10 minutes for me? Okay, Miguel, you stay. Miguel. Ooh, you stay. Almost at the end. Oh, okay. At the end, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, to October, I think it's in October 15 or 16, somewhere around there. But okay. no, you know okay. what? I will let you know right now. Sure. What about me? Okay, Miguel. The 8th of October, Miguel, to be exact. Okay, thank you, teacher. Sure. I get it. Will it. Be, uh, on a Friday. On a Friday. Anyone else? Okay. What about me, teacher? Ah, Rolando. Okay. On the 12th. 12th of October. 12th. Okay. Yes. Thanks. All right. Okay, class. Have a good night. Take care. And Thank I you, see teacher. You tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Bye, everybody. All right. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Okay, only Diana stays. Everyone else, good night. Goodbye, Diana. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have a good night. Bye, lady. Uh, thank bye. you. Good, good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>
I was, uh -huh. yeah. Or I have been working from home. Yes, I have been, you can Could use be. the present perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. I present have been perfect. working Continuous. from home uh, since the pandemic. And I prefer that uh, kind of uh, job because I used to ha I used to travel in in a bus, so the traffic was uh, horrible, <laughs> yes, and I... it took it took me like two hours to get to my home, since five thirty to seven thirty p.m. Sometimes when it was raining, I I came to my house until. 8 p.m. Mm. It was really difficult because when it's raining, the traffic gets uh, very, uh, it's a disaster in the streets. And I prefer the, this, the, this kind of job from home because um, when you finish your, your, your schedule, and you can just turn off the computer and go to uh, eat something in your house or just get relaxed watching TV, etc. And even in the in the mornings, um, it was uh, almost the same. But in the mornings, it took me one hour and a half to get to my job. Um, and I I had to to leave my house like seven around seven or ten minutes before seven, and I ha I, I I was arriving to my work uh, until eight thirty, and when it was like very heavy the traffic, uh, I I was getting to my work until 9 a.m. and wow. my boss yeah and my boss uh, was like pushing me because of that <laughs> and now I can get up at 7 or 7 30 and turn on the computer very relaxed very relaxed after taking my my breakfast before because before I couldn't take my breakfast in in, in house so there are many advantage of the this this modality. Yes, modality. Yeah, this modality of, of, of work. But the only thing I think is disadvantage is that you are in your house and you are looking the same like like people say, uh, four four walls. All four walls, right? Like yeah, everything. yeah, every day. And you sometimes you feel like you are in your job all the time because my computer is in the living room. So when I am watching TV, <laughs> I look for it. Oh my God, there is the computer, and that's the that's my my job. So that's a kind of a stressful because you cannot see anything else just your house uh from the living room to the bedroom for the bedroom to the living room so <laughs> it's a little bit stressful sometimes but that's the only thing okay mm -hmm. the food is better also in the house than in the work because sometimes uh it they they cost so much outside and your house you can prepare your own food and as you as you want exactly exactly mm -hmm. right you can prepare the food how you want it when you want it right yeah when mm -hmm. when you want it also right so mm -hmm. you're like ah, i don't want to eat right now we eat in a minute and you can you can prepare that also so you're yeah. working so you're working from home yes i'm working from home that's mm -hmm. great that's great that's great Many jobs have evolutionized in that yeah. level. They also close the, 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 the offices. Okay. Yeah, and we are not going to go back to the, the office. Mm. We are like permanent in our houses. <laughs> okay, so it's like, okay, we're going to stay that way, right? 
stay yeah, on. and I have a lot of uh, co-workers that are very happy because they save they save money for for the gas and for all. I mean, when you are eating outside, you eat very expensive, like very uh, a lot of junk food, like hamburgers, pizza, and that costs. Uh, more than uh, a plate uh, like uh, chicken with rice, etc. But you are outside, so you just you think that you can buy that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, it, what? How do you feel though? Do Do you like it better, or do you miss going to work? As I was saying, I'm sometimes, but it's like like 30 percent okay. i miss that because when I, I mean i used to buy some some personal things before uh, after work and now i have to go out to my house and make some extra time to go and chop in something <laughs> it's like oh my god i'm in my house i don't know if it's really necessary to go so, right to go uh, outside so yeah. it kind of, it kind of diminishes your your anxiety to go and buy something when you're at home, right? Yes, you're like, ah, yes. I don't want to go out. And God, also, I, just... I could save money, and and I I realized that I was wasting a lot of money. I mean, for for all those little things that you cannot count in in that moment. Exactly, exactly. It's like. So it, everything has changed, just like you said, the modality, right? Mm -hmm. The modality has has already. And also changed. now, uh, in in this this year, I got pregnant, and now I'm pregnant, and I was thinking if if I I have to go back to the offices and and travel in the bus for the sicknesses for the sickness. Mm -hmm. It will be horrible because and it feels uh, horrible. I mean, and with all the people there, and you, I mean, you you feel like suffocate. Yeah, you you, you suffocate, uh -huh. right? You feel suffocated. Yes, and in in the house, I can go like very relaxed to my bedroom. If I want to throw up, <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> yes. If I want to go many times to to make pee, I can't. So it's yeah. very that's the big advantage this this moment. Exactly, exactly. And a lot of people are like, "Hey, this is this is better, right? Mm -hmm. This is better." Mm -hmm. Although we do have a pandemic, right? But some labors, some jobs are much easier with technology now. You mm -hmm. just at home. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, well, it was great. It was great talking with you, Diana, and thank you for staying the extra minutes. Okay, thank it was you. a pleasure hearing you. All right, great story. All right. <laughs> thank you, teacher. All right. Okay, see you tomorrow, and uh, I'm I'm going to try to to make it out something for for the homework. Think think about it, right? You have children, right? So think of no, it's my first baby. Okay, so it's still a, it's just a. a a baby or you have two or one just one no this is my first baby it's just ah. one ah okay i thought you had another one already before okay no, no, no. But, okay so i was going to tell you think of a product for the baby maybe How think could of, be? right yes maybe you when you were talking i was thinking like a mom and i want to say what i'm going to 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 need before the the birth so maybe <laughs> for that way i'm going to think about it Okay. All right. It could be a service or a product, right? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, Diana. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye.